Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Joe from joesdaily.com and if you saw the previous video I put out, which is uh, a rare video because I haven't put out a video in like years, uh, this is my fiance Sarah. Hi. So as you may already know, Sarah and I are getting married very soon and we have been partnering with um, Pepto, who has been an amazing sponsor for us, both for our blogs and social media. We've been sharing tips and tricks, um, food recipes, all these fun things in collaboration with Pepto. And today is our first video working with them. First, first video working together. Oh, first yeah. video working together. So what we want to do today, as the wedding is quickly approaching, is talk about how to get through a bachelor and bachelorette party. So tip number one is to simply not go by the traditional rules of a kind of party all night mentality. Um, kind of cater to the groom and what their interests are. I mean, obviously, it could be something they've never done before, but sometimes it's good to surprise the person, he or she, with something that maybe they haven't got to do in a while or something you've heard them say they like to do, and it maybe doesn't really fit in the normal bachelor or bachelorette vibe, but it could be really cool and something they'll never forget. Number two kind of falls in line, I think, with number one, and that's don't try to do too much. You know, like, you are gonna have other times when you all get to hang out and stuff like obviously this is an important event but making sure that you know you do one or two things well versus trying to cram an entire evening or weekend with yeah. like all these things and then the stress ends up being on making sure you get everything done like right. it doesn't have to be like that just keep it simple and memorable and it's gonna be great I feel like three is very important in this day and age everyone is loving to share every single moment they have from um, you know, their experiences on social media. So I would recommend getting photo permission. Um, and not just for the groom or the bride, make sure everyone in the party knows that you're gonna be posting photos, um, videos of what they're doing. Not to say you're getting down and dirty into anything bad, it's just, you know, sometimes you wanna keep it between your friends. Maybe sometimes people don't wanna remember that they ate that huge steak and they're embarrassed by the amount of food they ate that night. Maybe they don't wanna share it. I think this is just one of those situations where Maybe you post the next day after a bit of review. Yeah, just a little, little breakfast review <laughs> and then breakfast you post. Review. Okay, so number four is one that's really important to I think both of us right now. As we're about a month away, the to-do list like somehow seems to be growing instead of shrinking. So the advice here is to try to plan it as early as possible, like at least a month before the event, because you don't want your bride or groom to be so worried about what they could be doing with their time instead. You know, you want everybody to have a great time and just let right. that be the focus of the night. Yeah. Definitely don't do like the day or two before. No. Some people do that still, which I don't no. think is, I don't think it's wrong, but I don't think it's actually the ideal Sorry. time. Sorry, that just sounds like my nightmare. Right. <laughs> Number five might be my favorite because it's probably the most important. Um, I mentioned earlier, maybe someone doesn't want to know about, uh, or be reminded about how much food they ate the night before. Well, let's be real, if you, if you ever overindulge before, you know that you've needed something like Pepto to make your stuff, your stomach feel better, your upset stomach feel better. Um, so what I like to do is, is, is recommend creating like a med kit of sorts. So maybe some uh, pain reliever, maybe a, a mini bottle of water, some vitamin packs, and especially the Pepto. Um, I know personally, like our wedding's in Mexico and we actually are creating stuff for our bachelor and, or sorry, our groomsmen and our bridesmaids. And we're creating these little like swag packs of like Pepto-Bismol, pain relievers and stuff like that. Basically get them through the night or the day and they can have the best time possible with us and not have to skip a beat. That is the point. Okay, so number six is more for the people who are planning the event and in the event, that said event is meant to be a surprise for the bride or groom. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So it has to do with clothing and, you know, especially if it's like a big weekend out or something, you know, this mm. part you're going to have to probably make them a little bit aware or at least maybe let their significant other know so they can help out their packing a little bit. You like don't want a night or a weekend or something fun to be ruined because of the wrong clothes. It's just worth mentioning because you kind of be surprised how often this happens. So word to the wise, plan clothes accordingly. Yeah. So number seven is budget, and I think it's something that's overlooked quite uh, quite often when it comes to these things. Um, right off the bat, you should just know, if you didn't already know this, the groom, the bride should not be paying for their party or their weekend event, whatever it is. Um, it's their special time. So you're supposed to be making this special um, experience for them, and they shouldn't have to worry about money. That being said, uh, neither should the best man. The best man should have his whole team of, of groomsmen kind of chipping in, and not knowing the budget, 
is important because what might happen, it's kind of like what I like to think of when you split a bill at a restaurant, right? You're going there with the intention of splitting the bill, but one person gets a steak and the other person gets a side salad. I mean, in the end, it's like, if you know going in what the, you're spending, everyone will be happy at the end. They, they won't feel like they overspent, they weren't taken advantage of, and everyone leaves happy. So that's really it, guys. I hope you guys like this list. Uh, we just thought it'd be fun to kind of put this together since we are being sponsored by Pepto and they've been so great for our blogs and we've been writing all this great content. Um, which, by the way, if you are interested in reading any of the content, we'll also provide those links as well so you can see what we've kind of been up to with them. Um, and thanks again for Pepto for sponsoring and keeping us feeling great whenever we have an upset stomach or, you know, all the other symptoms that they're they're known for from their commercials. Pepto-Bismol. Cause your heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Yay, pepto um, But yeah, so we're really excited for our wedding and I um, hope to be able to share more fun stuff from the wedding and content on Instagram and social media in general. Just all the places. All the places. All the places. Uh, as always, I'm Joe from JoeZealer.com and this is... Sarah from MoseyFlowers.com. Get used to hearing that because if we're gonna do videos, you gotta sign off just like I used to sign off and that's how I used to sign off. What if they hate it? I guess we'll find out in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, we will see you next video, hopefully soon. Bye. Bye.